and she just walks around like normal. <laughs> She's like, you're my new best friend. <laughs> so, I like all the repro stuff, which is why Samantha was like, oh, you can come back and fall out our mares while I'm gone. <laughs> um, before I got here, they did a bunch of like the Irish sport horses and warm bloods. And I think made the switch when Dr. Perry came. Yeah. Since everybody around here does quarter horses mostly. Makes it a little bit easier to sell. What horses are all out here? Um, this is one of our dry lots for chunky ponies. <laughs> so they get their, their hay net. <laughs> and then we have three fillies left from last year's full crop. That two of them are still for sale and we're thinking of keeping one of them to replace back into our program eventually. Your baby's gonna come say hi. Hibiscus. They're still getting handled quite a bit out here. Yep, yep, they get brought in two times a day for feeding. And students mess with them a lot. Our senior level equine class gets herd horses mm -hmm. for their um, class time and making sure they can take care of horses so they each get a small group and come out and brush them and take vitals and do all sorts of stuff with them. This is one of our studs. He was donated to us from U of I, and we donated one of our old studs who had some um, seminal plasma toxicity is what he was diagnosed with. And they were doing a study on that, so we did a little flip-flop and got this little ham. He's a cute thing. He is cute. He's a great stud because he honestly doesn't act Study. study so he's really nice for our students to get comfortable with him because our other one is the typical stud and loud but he's pretty chill and cute. Yeah. <laughs> we're hoping to get some foals out of him for next year Once does he have any foals on the ground yet not yet um had been working out a few kinks of switching from their schedule to ours and how we do things here. Yeah. But he's doing really good this semester, so I have high hopes. How old is he? I think he's turning 13 this year. maybe 36 40 I think but there's like 10 on each side maybe and um, then we have four folding size dolls so they're double um, this is one of our brood mares she's inside for an abscess right now but she's due at the end of the month it's like I'm tired of people messing with me <laughs> All three of the babies that are going to be born this year are going to be his. Hi, Grumpy. Yeah. Then he came to us from University of Madison, I think, or Wisconsin and Madison. How's he bred? Uh, I think more ranch style quarter horse. Um, I don't know if there's a. <laughs> We have many <laughs> strange named studs. We have Steve and Doug. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> he's a good one, too. He's a lot more studly, but he's very push button when it comes to collections, which is good for teaching as well. Yeah. Are you guys doing full stuff yourself? Yep, we do them every day. He's on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Doug, we do Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Hopefully start breathing at the end of the month yeah. into May. We have our outdoor arena and a round pin. And then down at that building, we have a small indoor arena. It's not huge, but it's nice when there's inclement weather, you can still have riding classes out here. And okay, how many acres is it? Ooh. 200. 
I think for all of our like pastures, so some of that's for our beef cows. I don't know exactly off the top of my head how many are up here for horses. Um, these are our other two bird mares. This little chestnut is due Monday. She's still holding on. <laughs> is that the one that's always late? Typically, yes. <laughs> Hi, sugar. Hi, mama. She's due the 15th, so she's got a little bit to go. That's pretty hard. I know, I love her. She's my favorite. Hi, Marie. <laughs> They're both good mamas. And this one, she didn't really have like a dystocia last year, but she had a hard falling for her. We had to pull a lot, so we're hoping this one goes smoother. And we've got um, 10 to 12 client horses that are boarded out here for students and faculty. And the rest are all for our teaching and research. Is everything across the road still for you guys too? Uh, just this pasture over here and then everything from the left down the hill that way is um, beef. beef. And we've got some horses down at the um, Phys and Metabolism Center. That's where, I think we've got 13 or 14 horses down there to release some pastures up here. This is our breeding shed over here. I don't know if this is the same one that was when you were in school. Cause I know it wasn't. I, it's not. I know the old one got blown down by tornadoes. So this might be the new one. <laughs> yeah, I was in. I was in the old one. Oh yeah, this one right here. Yeah. <laughs> we would have shut up here instead of the office. So we've got all of our um, semen collection stuff. We run fugles in here every other month to deworm all of our herd. Um, classes will be taught in here on occasion for our various equine students. Um, just giving them all hands-on learning opportunities for anything in more of a lab setting. Um, and we have our breeding stops and our phantom in here. We'll have ultrasounding in here starting up soon. A cheese mare stall we use out on occasion in our phantom, and then a warm water wash rack to hose off horses if we need to. That is nice. That is nice. I spend a lot of time in here. <laughs> um, so it is heated. Yeah, let's turn it off right now. It wasn't supposed to be cold. <laughs> but it's good stuff. Do you guys do all the AI here too? Yes. Yeah, we just AI with fresh semen. Yeah. So we'll ultrasound the mare, see if she's got a breeding size follicle, and then we'll put her in stall, collect, and then run around and put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a fun process. That's about it. Um.